So let's talk about sebum. Sebum is the natural moisturizer that your body has. And most of the time, all of the things that you're doing to moisturize the hair actually end up costing you the natural moisturizer that your body already has. So let's talk about sebum. The primary role of sebum on the scalp's follicle is to produce moisture and protect the hair's scalp. Hear me out. Sebum acts as a natural conditioner for your scalp and hair shaft, protecting the scalp from bacteria that can come to the scalp from environmental damage and so many other things. So by blocking your scalp with oils, what you're actually doing is causing different scalp infections because sebum helps to fight off the bacteria on the scalp in between wash days. So if the sebum can't come out and the only thing that is on your scalp is coconut oil for an example or castor oil for an example or any other type of non comedogenic oil that blocks the follicle or any type of oil in general, right? What happens is the scalp just has a bunch of oil but nothing to fight off the bacteria because remember, you could put coconut oil and things of that on the scalp until you're blue in the face and even though they have they some oils do have some antimicrobial and antibacterial properties they don't they're not as powerful as the sebum that's coming out of your scalp so this is why you'll notice so much scalp inflammation across the board across social media with women with naturally curly hair because they don't understand that by by greasing the scalp you're actually increasing the amount of bacteria on the scalp because sebum kills that bacteria and also not only are you packing product on the scalp but you've reduced the amount that you do shampoo the hair so there's an overproduction of sebum no, no there's an overproduction of sebum but then the sebum can't do its job the sebum can't get out right it's so it's stuck in the follicle producing different types of scalp and follicle disorders and the hair shaft is broken because the sebum that is meant to keep it stronger and protected and clear from bacteria can't get out so the hair is just left on its own that's why it's broken and that's why it's brittle and not only is it a natural conditioner but it protects the scalp against environmental bacteria and pollutions also it is your scalp's natural lubrication you know how your baby like oh, I need slip I need some slip your sebum has the slip you guys saw me shampoo and flat iron my hair in this video my hair is so freaking oily right now it don't make no sense none of this shine is coming from an outside source this is all natural sebum all natural sebum on my hair you do not need a outside source for you to get moisturized hair you do not all you need to do is make sure that the sebum that is coming out of your scalp is able to get out of the scalp and down the hair shaft to lubricate your hair now remember the sebum creates a barrier on top of the scalp and it creates a barrier on top of the hair shaft and lubrication so you don't need to constantly do all of this crazy stuff to the scalp that's why you'll notice that certain women never have scalp infections certain women are not having all of these problems because the sebum can come out kill the bacteria and lubricate the hair shaft like easy it's not that deep lastly and my favorite I said this before but we'll get a little bit more detail now sebum acts as a masterful regulator of different bacteria and microorganisms that are on the scalp the natural oil that is coming out of your scalp is literally infused with the acid that kills all types of bacteria that seeks to destroy the follicle to slow down the natural hair growth cycle all of these different microorganisms can lead to so many different types of scalp disorders and scalp infections and I'm guaranteeing you the majority of the problems that people are dealing with as it pertains to hair growth breakage and different things of that nature are all targeted at one source and that is it simply not keeping the scalp 
clean and not allowing the natural sebum to get out. Just try it. Sebum plays a major role at maintaining a healthy hair and scalp, but an overproduction of sebum, a blockage within the sebaceous gland, a blockage within the follicle like folliculitis, which is something we'll be talking about really soon, all of these things can lead to the follicle being blocked for long periods of time, for long extended periods of time. So to ensure that you will not run into bacteria infections, to ensure that your hair is not dry, broken, and brittle, first things first, you need to detox the follicle to remove anything that can be blocking the follicle from getting oxygen flow and from properly releasing sebum. If you have practices and patterns that limit you from combing your hair on a regular basis when it's out, then you want to make sure that you change your patterns and routines. When your hair is braided before the braids go in, you want to make sure that the patterns that you follow to get your hair braided in the first place really, really set your hair up to retain length while those braids are in. So make sure that your hair is braided properly. You don't have to keep adding oil to the scalp when your hair is braided. That's another way that you get folliculitis. Most women think that because their hair is braided, that means they need more oil. No, when your hair is braided is the most, is the time that you really don't add any oil to the scalp or you really don't add any oil to the hair. You know why? There is nothing blocking the scalp's follicle, nothing whatsoever. If you have braids, the only thing that you should be doing is cleansing the scalp with rose water or witch hazel and hitting your, your scalp with a diffuser before you go outside to let those braids dry. And then that's it because anything else is going to block the follicle. We have so many different videos coming on the follicle. So you guys just stay in here with me because it's going to be, I, I can't get them all broken down into one video, but this is probably video number two. I'm about to change my shirt. So if you want to learn a little bit more about what to do as it pertains to the follicle, and if you want to know a little bit more about Olaplex 8 and how it can help you retain moisture, then click the link in the description box below to get your hands on some of it okay i love you guys so much and let me know in the comments what you think about this video